Hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you are new. My name's Alex and I post three beauty related videos every single week so if those are the types of videos you like to watch then make sure you hit the subscribe button and put the notification bell until you're notified every single time that I post. Firstly before I get into today's video I just want to say a massive thank you for 1,800 subscribers. <sighs> we are now 200 away from uh, 2k uh, before 2020 that is my goal so hopefully I can reach there I've got a huge giveaway box sitting over there ready to go to one of you guys so let's hope to hit 2k very very soon so as you can tell by the title Revolution have come out with three new Forever Flawless palettes. They are always adding to this collection. I love these palettes. Um, I love the formula of the other one. So today we're going to test all of these palettes out. I know you're thinking, how can you test three palettes out in one video? Well, I've actually already pre-filmed two of the tutorials for two of the palettes. And this video we're going to be focusing on one of the tutorials. And then I will play the tutorials when I get to those palettes. Anyway, it's all very confusing, but basically these are the three palettes that Revolution have just recently launched. So they firstly launched these two palettes. We have the Forever Flawless Allure palette. I hope I'm pronouncing in that right. Love the packaging of these. It's so beautiful. Um, and then they also launched the Revolution Utopia palette. I think this is meant to be Eotopia, but they missed the E out on the palette. But again, absolutely love the packaging. And then their most recent Forever Flawless palette is the Revolution Chilled with Cannabis Sativa, Sativa palette. And this is beautiful packaging again. And this is more of a green palette, but obviously you'll see that in the clip. It's beautiful. Um, these palettes all retail for £10 each, so they're really affordable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave timestamps on the screen or in the description. I'll probably leave them on the screen as now as well. So you can skip to a particular palette if that's all you're interested in. Or if you want to see two of them, you can skip to them. If you want to see all of them, you can watch the whole video. And then at the end of this video, I will come, you know, together and give you my honest review on all three of the palettes. So without further ado let's jump on into it so obviously as i said this palette is going to be focused on the allure palette and then i'll show the other tutorials after this one so this is what the packaging looks like it's so beautiful i absolutely love it and <laughs> this is what the inside looks like i did a poll on my instagram and the majority of people voted that I did a video on this. So that's why this video is going to be mainly on this tutorial. Um, but it's a beautiful everyday sort of palette. There's no insane or pops of colour or anything. Um, a lot of the shades do look kind of similar. But I think that's the point. It's meant to be like that type of neutral palette. It kind of reminds me of the Makeup Obsession um to love with or something palette i love that palette so let's jump into the swatches of the allure palette so this is what the first two rows look like um i believe this is a foil because that is way too blinded to be a normal shimmer um and a couple of the darker shades swatched a bit patchy but apart from that it looks beautiful i love these shimmers here and this purple these are really pigmented considering they're really light and this is the last row. They're all really pigmented. As you can see, they're all quite similar shades, um, but they're beautiful. Okay, so I've zoomed in. We're now going to move on to the eye look. Um, so I'm going to start off with this shade, the lightest shade in the palette, actually, called Hen Hedonism. Hedonism? I'm not sure. And I'm going to dust that all over my lid just to brighten it up a little bit. So now we're going to go in with this shade here, which is called Attract, and I'm going to put that in my crease. It's like a beautiful mauve sort of toned nude. Okay, next we're going to go in with this here, this here, this shade here, which is called Charisma, and I'm just going to basically put that on top. Thank you. 
And now we're going to take this shade here, which is called Sweetheart, and just build that colour up a little bit more. And now I'm going to use this purple here, which is called Nymph. I'm pretty sure that's like a kinky thing, isn't it? I don't know. And I'm just going to put that below the crease, not too high up. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called Risky, and I'm going to put that all in the outer corner and the inner corner. Okay, so I need something for the middle of my lid, and I think I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called Sinner First. If I need to line it up or something, I will go back in with a different shade, but we're going to start off with that one. So I ended up putting um, the magnetic shade on the lid just because the cinnamon one wasn't working. Let me just see if flaunt goes on. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, flaunt goes on top as well. That is beautiful. Um, so I now need to put something on my lower lash line. So I think I'm going to go back in with that nymph shade, which is the like purpley sort of shade. And... Let's put that there. And lastly, for my inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to take that flaunt shade, which is stunning. Right, so I'm going to go put some mascara and lashes on off camera and then I'll be right back and then we can move on to the next palette. Right guys, so I'm back. I just put the GW, GWA Natural Lashes and the Primark Wonder Lash Mascara. I've been loving this recently. Um, and this is my final look with the Makeup Revolution Allure Palette. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We're now gonna move on to the Revolution Utopia palette um, and this one is more this is more slightly coloured so there's more like purples and there's some pops of blue in there um, yeah it's quite a versatile palette compared to the Allure one it definitely has more of a choice of colour so let's dive into the swatches so this is the first two rows of the palette as you can see it has really different colours in it compared to the Allure palette it has a sort of blues, it has your greens, it has a pop purple pink and then it has some really beautiful foiled bronze colours as well and then this is the last row in the palette I love that second colour there's another foil here you can tell straight away um, and this, these three are sort of like normal shimmers and you can definitely tell a difference in the formula. So now I've swatched the Utopia palette, I will now dive into the eye look. Now I must warn you, the lighting in these uh, tutorials are quite dark. I did do this at night with my ring light, so the lighting and stuff is totally different and they're going to be really short and sweet, so you're not sitting there for ages watching this tutorial.
Right, so now you've watched this tutorial, we can now move on to the last palette in this video, and that is the newest palette, which is called Chilled with Cannabis Stavia. This had a whole collection. It had mascaras, lip products, had the eyeshadow palette, had loads of... I think it had, like, sprays and stuff as well. So there's a whole collection with this, whereas just those two are just the palettes. So if you want to check that out, obviously I'll link all of these products down below. Um, but this one, guys, is a green themed palette and it is absolutely beautiful i'll just show you up close quickly this is what it looks like it's absolutely stunning i just love it when they do different palettes so as the first two we are going to dive into some swatches so this is the first two rows and straight away you can tell there are indeed glitters in this palette so these two and this dark shade here are glitters that is what's different from this palette to the other two um, and it does also have shimmers in there as well and a couple of matte greens and some brown shades as well so this is the last row and as you can see there are two foiled shades in this palette and there's a couple of darker mattes there. So now you've seen all of the swatches of this palette, we can now dive into the tutorial. By the way, I'm showing you how pigmented it is on my hand because it wasn't like that on my eye, which is really disappointing. right guys and now i have showed you all the swatches i've showed you all the tutorials we can now sit down and discuss my opinion on all of these palettes so i just firstly want to talk about these two palettes that are obviously in the same sort of category and um, they're both the same sort of design and stuff just different colors so this allure palette here if you are someone that doesn't really like to play with a lot of colour, if you're someone that sort of likes to stick to the same sort of looks with similar colours and don't really want to go too out there um, and got and just pop a couple of shimmers in your lid on your lid or in your inner corner and stuff, this palette would be perfect for you. This would also be perfect for beginners, people who are not who people who are intimidated a little bit by colour. This is something you can go in. All the shades are sort of similar. There's an array of different shimmers. You've got some brighter ones down here. You've got your darker ones up here. Um, so I think this is more for people who don't really like experimenting with colour and prefer to stick to the same sort of looks. Now, the Utopia palette 
this is for someone who loves their purples and blues isn't afraid to pop a bold color on their lid um and loves to stick to these sort of colors someone who doesn't like to stick to the same looks um if that first one isn't your cup of tea because it's just not out there enough for you then i definitely think that this is a great option um i love the purples in this palette the blue shimmers are really nice i just thought i just hoped they would have put more blue mattes in here because the two blues that are in here are shimmer and this one down here that's actually like more of a dark green shade but apart from that if you just like the odd pop of color then this is perfect and then if you're like me and you love your green eyeshadow and you want something that also has glitter in it because obviously that's what makes this palette different as well as it has a few glitter pans in it then you are going to love this palette i love this so much i'm gonna just put it out there that this is my favorite one out of all three of them um i just love the fact that there are not just one matte green there's a few matte greens in there for you there's matte, uh, there's shimmery greens there's even two green glitters in there you've got your silver glitter you've got a couple of foiled shades in there this is just absolutely everything if the avocado palette by our heart revolution isn't quite doing it enough for you then this is something you need in your collection it's the same amount of money as the avocado palette i think this just gives more of green eyeshadow in it so now that i have spoke about all the palettes i just want to give my like overall sort of opinion so i'm just going to start off and say what i love most about these palettes um, are the matte shades I love the glitters that are in the green palette and I love the foiled shadows they are so stunning and they work every time you'll see in my green look that the gold in my inner corner just popped it was so intense however the normal shimmers in these palettes and across this is across the board so the same thing in my fire palette review the normal shimmers are just not cutting it for me um, and this also goes for um, the glitter that had like speckles in them so like this shade here had them this shade some of the shades are better than others um, but those shades are not consistent like some of the lighter shimmers are better than the darker shimmers and I tried to use brush a brush with those shimmers and it doesn't work i have to use my finger and using your finger yes it has to be done sometimes but when it's consistently across all of the palettes you think that there's some sort of fault with the formula which is very annoying because i love shimmers and they're just not working for me i don't know if you guys have the same opinion as me but that's just my personal opinion however the foiled shadows are everything i feel like they just need to put that in every palette going forward because that formula is amazing and i cannot fault it this shimmer here in the green palette called candyland that did actually work um with some spray so if you do want to really make it work you'll need to proper dig deep into the pan and wet your brush but that being said they are only 10 pounds i'm not expecting anastasia beverly hills quality for a 10 pound palette they are good you just need to work with them a little bit more the matte shades are beautiful cannot fault them they're so pigmented easy to blend out so that's pretty much it for this video you guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a massive thumbs up because that really helps me out comment down below let me know which palette is your favorite I already told you mine and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video bye